Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. And Tommy O'Brien, my grandson, well, Tommy's out there, of course, but my grandson's sitting out there watching us growl on a prowl. I love you, Tommy O'Brien. Where's your shark? Where's your shark? Where's your shark? Get that shark. He loves sharks. He loves animals. Loves nature. That is a beautiful thing. Don't take anything personally. The truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 280, Nasdaq's off 247, S&P's down 56, gold contract down three dollars fifty cents, three dollars fifty cents, trading seventeen thirty three an ounce. We had silver up nineteen cents, eighteen dollars fifty two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck seventy seven, ninety four dollars ninety three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten year note up four ticks, one nineteen twenty six. The third year up twenty at one forty two oh. One in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 720 ticks, trading at 107,203. The Euro is at 101. The Yen is at trading at a price point of 136.70. And the British Pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's get into the futures first. We take a look at this, okay? So you got the E-minis down 56 bucks. We're at a price point right now. There we go. Let's pull this back. Okay. So it's been a one-way trip all day long. We had a high out here of 39.64. You got a low out here of uh, 39.13. Right now we're laying right at that low. And okay, so the last time 41,000 contracts. We got 30,000 contracts right now, but that's that's gonna, a new 10 minutes bar is going to stop. So you don't have a, you don't have a break with volume. That's the bottom line. Uh, what we also have now, this is going to be pretty cool. Now watch this. We had one counter trend bounce today. Now the counter trend bounce at 34,000 contracts going back into 36. So if you get a rejection of lower price right here, the bottom line, you're going to be right back top side into this uh, 3937. 3937, which is not a lot. But, but bottom line, that's where that bounced last time. We, that's in the E-minis. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Right now, it's down 274 ticks. Points, that is, rather. And same type of setup. We got that pop. First pop was 9,100. And you went to 10,000. Different setup. Different setup. No doubt about that, man. Uh, you haven't broken the B yet. You know, so we'll see how this is going to shake out because after the close, we will move the market. Number one is Microsoft and Google. Microsoft right now, let's take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft is down $8.68. You're trading $2.50. And what's interesting about this, so look at this for a second. This is where this gets intriguing. So the first time that we were downtown and got to the $2.50 area, we did, and it's on a daily, we did 51 million shares. Then you bounce up to 277. Now you don't have the volume there, but then we come back down again with 46 million. So well, here's the correlation. 51 million, 46 million, 35 million, and today's 22. So when I look at that chart, that's telling me that Microsoft is actually going to pop on the close. This isn't, this isn't a great looking chart. I'm not, it's not that it's a great looking chart. What it is, is that you can see the force has evaporated pretty much going all the way back to the 12th of May. So the correlation, once again, is that you're down on 51 million, you're down on 39, you're down on 46, you're down on 35, and today we'll do, we might do 35. See where it could go, but that's telling me that you don't have enough buyers to keep jamming that low. Google, Google's going to be coming out with numbers also. Uh, Google, bottom line, that's coming into basically uh, where it went topside. So that's 106, 
24. We had volume there of 36 million. You're testing that with 21. And we're testing, did we hit the 102? Well, we didn't hit the big volume here. See, there's a bar here that it probably wants to hit, which is 106, 395. Oh, no, we hit it. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. We'll see whether we can get over it. We tested the highs of the lows that were established out there in the 24th. So this is going to be wild just watching this whole baby shake out. Uh, gold. Let's we go to the gold. Well, here let's let's cut to the chase and go right to the dollar. The dollar. This this correlation is as direct as you can get, folks. The bottom line. We've been talking about the dollar for quite some time now, and you can see you're you're back over the benchmark, and, and the, where the benchmark is, that is the there's the level right there, and that number in the benchmark is 106.792, and we're at 107.192. And what that benchmark is, that's where the dollar had monster strength. That's where we went up 1,500 ticks. That's a penny and a half. And, you know, the market basically came down there four times, didn't break it, came down, broke it on Friday, stayed underneath it, stayed underneath it yesterday, and guess what? It pops it once again. So uh, bottom line is that that dollar is keeping pressure on the market in an extraordinary way. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get Advanced Micro down $2.50. Carnival's off $64. You get Amazon off uh, 6 bucks. Apple's off $166. Walmart. Let's go to Walmart. Well, yeah, Walmart's down $10. Uh, they came out. Now, this came out with the warning. This wasn't even their numbers, folks, because their numbers... Uh, coming out on August 16th and bottom line we take this we look at this and so the last time I mean last time Walmart came out with this numbers it went from $149 three days later it was down at 121 and bottomed out at 117 what we have out here today is that you got 26 million going into 34 we'll see whether you know I mean when you get something like this this very well, this, this is going to need a lot of testing to get to higher price because the bottom line is that when you get a fast price destruction like that, that leaves uh, a lot of people out in a limb that as it moves up a little, they'll be selling out. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials down uh, 231, NASDAQ down 231. Look at that. Point for point. S&P's down uh, 49. We'll come right back.